Hello there, guys. Thank you so much for waiting. Welcome to the world. Oh. <laughs> Forgot that was going to pop up first. Dot age. Let's go. You hearing the audio okay? Do you hear the game audio? Is it fine? Now, for those of you who are not aware, Dot Age is a roguelite city builder. You play the role of a prophet who tells the story of how he f f founded a village. And this is one of those games where there are good events and there are bad events that can affect your town and its people. And it's randomly generated each time, whatever the uh, positive or negative effects can be. Sometimes you can influence whether they be a good event or a bad event. But some of them are by default good or bad that you can influence. So you've just got to hope you can ride it out the best you can. So our village elder is Matus. Let me tell you the story of how our very own village was born. I was so young back then. This is the tale of a curse that we were destined to face and how we overcame it through cooperation. And as you can see, it has many difficulties. <laughs> and each one can make the game easier or harder, as difficulties are. Ooh, excuse me. We'll just play it on normal difficulty. Dot Age, or as some people affectionately call it, Dotage, <laughs> is a long and merciless game. By choosing the normal difficulty, you acknowledge the risk of losing multiple times unless you are experienced with strategy games. Are you sure you want to play at this difficulty? Um... Yeah, I think I am. It's normal, how hard could it be? Let me tell you a story. It begins before any of you were born. We had been traveling for days in strange lands. This is the story of how our village was born. The story of how we defeated the prophecy. It all began in lush secluded valley that we found after several days of traveling. Just a few more steps, slackers. You, you slackers, we are almost there. My feet hurt. <laughs> I just love it. Oh, I was so young then. <laughs> he looks exactly the same. I convinced some pips to follow me into the valley. And that's what the people are calling this game. Pips. This is it. This is the place I told you about. We have to stop here. You'd better not be lying about this new life, Elder. Impertinent. Follow my example and we'll all be well. Now get to work. We started work straight away on the construction of our village. <laughs> I think this is the first time I'm telling you this story, isn't it? Yes, Elder. You better pay attention because I'm not going to repeat this twice. You can always click this button to skip the tutorial. <laughs> 
the village was in a secluded valley, far away. You swazzed, pan to the edge of the screen. Right. Or hold right stick to move your view. Right stick. Oh, that, I see. Use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out, I suppose. I was the elder of the new village. Let me tell you what I did to make it thrive. The Bivorak was the first structure. It defined the boundaries of our village where we could safely build. Place it in any available terrain. Um. Hmm. I mean, it all looks pretty decent. I guess I'll put it here. We pips used to live in dwellings like this one. You can see it's already full of pips. Hello, little pips. Pips, yes, my fellow villagers. I used to tell them what to do every day. Hmm. I remember the first time I sent a pip to get food. To assign a pip to a building structure or plant and activate it. Pips followed my wise advice without question. The pip is now working. You can activate the tile again to remove pips. I should get them all harvesting berries. Pips work to produce resources daily. Hover over a building to see what it produces. Yep, it produces berries. We found a few bushes full of berries, enough to last us for the first few days. Bushes have limited uses. The number of the stops left shows how many are left. We collected the resource we produce each day in a common pool in the village. Each pip ate one piece of food every day. Available food is automatically allocated. I made sure that each pip was assigned to their daily task. See how many working pips there are in the village and how many are idle. Right. I also recorded the current day and season. The game progresses in turns. So do not worry about time passing too quickly. Once I was satisfied with the daily tasks, we got right to work. Pass the turn by pressing spacebar. Cool. Hold on! That was more! I remember it now! Memory retrieved. My memories. <laughs> In my old age, I tend to get a little forgetful. As I tell you our story, our old memories will resurface, so watch out for these effaces. Jigsaw puzzles, got it. Memory retrieved, build! Pips can now build structures! Let's go! I have berries in my, uh, breakfast, uh, cereal, yogurt mixtures I make for work. They're nice. Although, I have to admit, I'm not really a fan of the strawberries. Every pip has the ability to build a building. Once you have chosen a building, you can place it anywhere in the village. An occupied pip will go there to build it, and it will take a few days. The building menu is divided into sections. Select the services section. We needed a thinker post to help pips come up with new ideas. Right. Each structure had a different cost to build. This one took a day and a few wood resources. Buildings were used by pips to produce. This one produced one knowledge in one day. They also had special requirements. The post could not be placed immediately next to another building. Think pips, thinking pips needed silence. <laughs> I carefully decided where to place the post. Follow the tutorial. Um, right. Ah, right, so there's a couple. Okay. I think by the trees would be nice. It took only one day to build. No worker available. Okay, I need to take you off that. Put you on building the thinker's place. <laughs> 
You want to know how I made my decisions? Well, I have collected my wisdom in my HPedia. My HPedia contains information about buildings, resources, and more. When you see a next question mark icon on your cursor, you can select the HPedia page for the hovered item. Take a look, then go back to your village and start building. Hi, hi. Yeah, I think we're going to need some cabins and stuff, aren't we? Alright. I mean, we have enough room to live. So that's okay. Forager. Requires woods terrain within one. Ah, you can get hemp. All right, you guys build. <laughs> yes, indeedy. Multiple productions. Some buildings can take different inputs and produce different resources as well. When this happens, you can use the action button to rotate the available production using the action button. <gasps> we got research! Yeah, baby! Pips came to these lands with little knowledge, but they can be very brilliant if they take their time. Some buildings produce knowledge that can be used to discover new buildings. Nice. Nothing to produce. Building is abandoned. Okay. Uh, hmm. Alright, okay, I still got tutorial. I missed that window right in the middle of the screen for some reason. <laughs> Some pips focus on harvesting knowledge that we could use to discover new buildings. Each building required the production of a certain amount of knowledge to be discovered. I alone chose where to focus the research efforts. As we discovered new buildings, we gained access to even more brilliant ideas. I can't remember them now, but we had a lot of different ideas. I'm sure they will come to me later, hence the uh, roguelite uh, variation of this game. New research ideas will appear after you complete the previous ones. <laughs> a buildings in the village that do not meet the requirements will be abandoned by pips and cannot be used again until the requirements are met. For example, the thinker's post does not want any other buildings near it. Ah. The action button allows you to dismantle a building. Most buildings, when dismantled, will give half the resources used to build them. Some buildings, such as plants, give different resources. Okie doke. Right, so I can't do anything yet. Alright, well, it's mental. <laughs> I completely forgot the thinker station. Nothing can be produced because we have that next to it. Oh, goodness. Alright, let's get foraging some more, I guess. There we go. Now the thinker is three to think in peace. The village can only handle a certain amount of resources, as logistics become quite difficult with too many things to account for. The elder will keep track of your resources, but any resources gained over the cat will be lost and forgotten. You can increase the resource limit by upgrading your town center with other special buildings. Coolios. I need someone to be thinking. Uh, I don't think I can uh, put that over, can I? No. And it needs to be adjacent to wood, so I need to dismantle. I need to get rid of this berry bush! Alright, let's... Uh... Uh-oh. Gosh darn it. <laughs> uh, I'll be back in a sec, guys. Sorry about this.
Sorry about that, guys. Thank you for waiting. You're ever so patient and so sweet. Thank you. Right. Um. Oh, I can make a wood pile. But I don't have any wood. Hold on. This, ah, signpost. I'll get someone building that one. We need, we need to make the, uh, we need to make our, uh, area bigger. There we go. Now we can actually put, get the hemp. Gonna be very important. And put the forager here. Uh, wood gathering, I suppose we could put here too. Let's get that wood. Thank you for the head, Pat Mistine. Thank you. All right, that guy needs to keep thinking. We need, we need the knowledge. The pips sound funny. I like them. No more resources can be harvested. Oof. Alright, you can harvest that one instead. I'm sure that will work for us, right? Not really a lot we can do right now. <laughs> Until we get that research. So long as we have enough wood and we're producing enough berries for the food, that's all good to me. Ha ha! We can do it now! A new research section is available! Nice. Some terrains may have special properties that can affect the output of buildings. If a building that can take advantage of that terrain is built on top of it, the output will increase. Oh yes, I remember now. We had ideas for many different types of structures. Sometimes I remember a new research section and it appeared in the research tree. Alright, what's our next research? Uh, tomato field? Which offers us a resource of tomato, tilled soil, and the herb picker. Hmm. I'm wondering what I should focus on. I suppose I need the tilled soil because I can't really make any fields or something without them. Right, so now we can build a well. Unfortunately, there is no water that we can take advantage of. We can't get to that terrain, unfortunately. I wish I could get that to summon here. I hate that it's that it's generated the water so far away. I'm gonna need a signpost again. Unfortunately, we'll just have to make a basic well for now. Right, okay. Um, you can stop picking herbs. You build that. I think we may need to uh, eventually uh, make something.
<laughs> yum, 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 yum. Tasty, tasty berries. Luckily, we have plenty of food. He has to keep thinking. He has to keep getting wood. Actually, I think we got enough wood. Let's let's keep focusing on hemp production, shall we? Would probably be a wise choice. I mean, until we actually get the ability to build buildings, we're not actually going to be able to use any wood. Another berry, tr berry bush without the resources. Unlucky. Now we can start producing water. I suppose I could start building... Bu buildings. Right. Right. Yeah, you keep doing that. Uh... I think we can afford to... Let him... We have plenty of berries. We we don't mind losing some time to that. If I remember correctly, apparently you have to uh you have to have houses in order to uh produce offspring. Oh. <gasps> what the heck is this? What's happening? The apocalypse vision. I remember it vividly! Uh-oh. It's the apocalypse! Oh no! Events will appear. Our village is cursed! Many events with unpredictable consequences can occur when you pass the turn between each day and the next. Events can be anything. A shift in the winds, the creation of a new bond, the symptoms of a new disease, or just the usual earthquake. Most events have negative effects, so pray you are lucky. I sure hope so. <clears throat> hey, Azure! How you doing, friend? Welcome! Don't be sad. I will navigate them through this. I hope. <laughs> the visions came to me! I saw the future, and the world is doomed! The apocalypse is coming! You brought us here to... die? Don't be stupid. We are here for a reason. We can stop this. Let me tell you about my prophecy. According to what I saw, we will encounter many events in the near future. I carefully noted all the days of the year. This is the current day. I wrote down all my visions. Each one would come on a certain day. The first one was only a few days away. And a doom event awaits us at the end. We must prepare for it. A very powerful event. A doom was destined to come in the near future. Yeah, bit. <laughs> you said we'd find a new life here. Disrespectful fool! Are you calling me a liar? Work hard and the dooms can be defeated! This is what I saw! Now that you all know about the prophecy, we need to work hard to survive! Ah, the faith. Thanks to my visions, I was able to warn everyone of what was about to happen. Visions of future events will appear here. My visions were tied to the domains, the forces that threatened the village. This one was sleeping. The fear domain looms. In difficult times, the howling of the wind and the harshness of life can quickly drive a pip mad. The fear domain feeds on the inner struggles and social tensions of your pips. When its threat is high, pips will commit atrocious acts controlled by their fears. Place buildings that make your pips happy and entertained to combat fear events. Pips can also find happiness in positive social relationships, including pets. <gasps> you can get pets! An omen may appear within the prophecy. Nothing can be done about an omen. The event will arrive and it will make things worse just as predicted. 
Omens will always increase the threat of the domain they are associated with, making subsequent events stronger. It is just the way it is. I guess. A doomed village! See apocalypse vision! Yep. We finally started, so... You cannot influence the outcome. Damn. <laughs> That's unfortunate. So right now, I just gotta focus on making sure that, you know... I'm as well prepared for it as possible. Now I'm thinking of potentially doing another thinker's post. It'd be nice if there were some areas where you could get more. So yeah, when you build things, you have to be extra careful. You don't want to cause there to be any, uh, discourse. Right, okay. You can start gathering hemp. You build that outpost, and then you start coming up with, uh, ideas too. We need to, we need to develop as quickly as possible. All right, let's go. Procreation. Pips can make new babies. Yay, babies. More labor. <laughs> Man, this whole stream has all been about labor. <laughs> ah, the power of love. If a dwelling has enough empty space, Pips can make a baby. And they should, if we want the village to thrive. Send two pits with some extra food to that building and they'll spend the next night together and make a new baby. Any two free pips will do, no matter what they look like. Pips can be very fertile. <laughs> oh my. That is, uh... That is quite lewd, isn't it? It did not take long to realize that we needed more pips. I was too old, but my fellow pips were healthy and fertile. It takes time. It's time for the birds and the bees talk. <laughs> It's quite simple. All you need is a happy couple and some food. Any two three pips will do. You need at least two free pips for this to work. Free some pips. Okay. Open the actions menu. Open the actions menu. Okay. When I ordered pips to reproduce, they were they were more than happy to accept. Choose make a baby decision. Uh Ah, that one. Make a baby! The two pits would spend the next day making the baby. I hope everything is clear now. I won't explain it again. <laughs> you already... This is the bird and the bees. When two pips love each other very much and spend the night together, they make a baby. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> we have the tiller soils. Hey, little baby! <laughs> it's cute, right? When a child is born, it becomes an adult after a few days. Children are not strong or disciplined enough to work, so they must play around the house all day. Remember to feed them too, though, as they can eat just like adults. <laughs> and we got the tilled soil. Pips can perform some tasks on terrains. Yay! The special category of tasks are different from buildings. Instead of building something, they can change the terrain below it. Use, use, use them to clear a forest or to reclaim land. Nice. Alright, four days and then he becomes an adult. Alright. Probably time to get back to getting some, uh, getting some resources. Man, imagine just being able to do that. Alright. 
So we'll, we'll, we'll try and get the tomato field next, shall we? Get some more food resources, because we're going to need a lot of food. Just wait till winter comes, it's going to be harsh. I hope this game isn't too boring for you guys. I wanted to see just how... how interested people are in watching a game like this. I mean, as someone who's not really the most, uh... social, shall we say... It can be kind of hard for me to, like, keep the, the, the gab going. But I do my best. I mean, I do like it when I, when we can have a chill and relaxing time. Alright, we're gonna have you... We're gonna have to try and get more berries. Alright. Let's build some more dwellings. We're gonna look into getting some more, uh, pips. Although that does mean there's more mouths to feed. That's the only drawback. <gasps> oh, excuse me. The village can support up to this number of a single resource. If more are produced, they will get discarded. I mean, we just gotta keep... We just gotta keep it up, you know? <gasps> What's the kid doing? <gasps> Fear! Crow sightings. Fear threat increases permanently by one. Uh-oh. Creature discovered. Crow. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's a bad sign. The event has arrived and the threat to the domain has increased. The bar above each domain measures its threat. When it reaches its maximum, we were doomed. The domain, however, slept when awake. It generated fear every day. The higher the threat, the higher the fear generated. But all was not lost. We could fight fear by creating hope. New research section. Let's go. When awake, each domain accumulates its fear, its associated resource called power. For example, the fear domain will generate fear. High fear will cause bad events. Some buildings can help you influence upcoming events. They can produce some resources against the power of the domain. For example, they can produce hope to fight fear. We had special buildings to fend off events. Ah, community. Nice. New memory! Meeting point! New resource discovered. Hope! Yes. Everything's a resource, even hope. Alright, we're gonna have two pips focusing on generating... Not enough three pips. Okay. All right, we're gonna generate a new pip. I feel as though this is necessary. Alright, that other pip should become an adult soon, and then we'll have more resources. Ugh. There you go, they grew up! Haha, <laughs> we have a new adult!
Alright, you get water. And you can now go thinking. You can help us think. <laughs> I cannot wait until we till this soil. Wow, then you're addicted to Baldur's Gate, aren't you? <laughs> hmm. Okie dokie. Right, you go off that, you start producing some more wood. We're gonna need it for buildings later. <laughs> eh? What even was that? <laughs> Hooray! We have the meeting point! We can now combat fear! Alright, if it's near a building... Alright, um... Alright, you forget about water. You make the meeting point. Right. Ah. Shared table. And the relaxing stand. <laughs> New job discovered. Watcher. New resource. Infusion. New ailment distressed. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Uh-oh. The hunting tent. And raw white meat. And a chicken pen! Wow, we're getting lots of things. And we discovered the chicken! Let's go! Uh, the hunting tent. Yes, I think we'll, we'll go with that next. Okie dokie. We want the hunting tent because we have all of these wild chickens. Okie dokie. Um. Right, no worker available. Okay, um, how about we, uh, I guess we keep researching for now. Or maybe you don't have to research anymore. We could do with some tilled soil. Um, probably here. Pips available for work. Yes, you work on that. Good job. Soon we shall make tomat. I see. I see an unknown event coming upon us. The vision is confusing, but there is hope. We can fight it. New terrain discovered soil. An unknown event may appear within the prophecy. The events associated with it can be very bad, but the vision is blurred and the future can be altered. Increase protection against the power of the domain to control your destiny and get a good event. I had another vision, an unknown event. It felt somewhat dangerous. 
Fortunately, we had several days to prepare. The vision had awakened the domain, which had begun to generate fear. Better produce some hope. <laughs> when an unknown event arrives, the domain's current protection and power are compared. You have a chance to get a good event based on the difference. The higher your protection, the higher the chance of a good event to appear. If you can collect enough protection, you will get a good event with certainty. The difference needed to reach certainty increases with the domain's threat. Alright, so we can go 2 to 1 on that one. Fight that one off. Um, just let me take you off berry picking duty just to do this. So we can get the hunter's thing, and that will generate more food. Oh, a pip's available for work. Alright, you go... I was gonna say... We need to keep generating some food. New resource discovered. Fear. Uh-oh. Hunting tank complete. Pips can hunt wild animals. Terrains may contain wild animals that can be hunted by certain pips working in specific buildings. Pips will hunt these animals to produce their output resources. Every three days, the animal population is replenished by one. This happens if even if there are no animals left. However, during winter, animals will not replenish at all. Damn. Well, that sucks. <gasps> Barbecue! Cooked white meat. Nice. Requires hope makers within one. Heals three distressed pips with infusion. Huh. Uh, wait, well, it's cultivation. I need to finish making the tomatoes. So we can start producing produce. Alright, um... Whew, okay. Ah, oh, that other pip grew up. Yeah, because we're on the last berry bush. Hunting, hunting. Cool. Hey, Murray. Welcome to the stream. How you doing, friend? Right, okay. You can stop doing that now. We need you to, uh... We need you to build this now. We need we need another source of of food. I'm all right, thank you. <laughs> I accidentally played Pal World a little too long. But I did not want to shaft this game cuz this game is amazing. I really enjoy this game. We can make tomatoes now. Pips can grow plants. More research. Education. Ha <laughs> ha. Plants work a little differently than buildings. Once they are planted by a pip, they will grow on their own until they are ripe. When a plant is ready to be harvested, you can send pips to collect the fruit. However, they will run out after a few uses and need to be replanted. Cool. Oh no, here comes the tomato! Ooh, excuse me. Alright. Alright, now we can plant tomatoes. Black! <laughs> there it is! <laughs> Plant, no worker available. 
Right, okay. You can stop. You can start making. Thank you for always helping when you're here to doing your bit. Everyone, everyone has a part to play. Barley field. Ooh. New job discovered. And barley and hemp field. And an actual well. Wow, that's a lot of new stuff, actually. Right. Um, hmm. I think we will focus on education. Remedy rug. Health. <laughs> Meal cult. Oh, don't worry. Cult of the Lamb is tomorrow. Retreat. Thinker. Altar. Wow, this is a lot. We have nature. Paper maker. Knife master. Paper. <laughs> this is too much. Oh no, even more new stuff. <laughs> Clearing. Stone gatherer. Workbench. Toolmaker. Basic tools. Wood stack. Oh my gosh, this is too much. <laughs> Hunter's Lodge. Yes, you can. I'd like to see your poetry. Hunter. Village Hall. Skinning rack. Feathers. I'm trying to remember what it is I wanted first. Right. So what do we need for this? We need more health. Construction wood stack. Workbench. Stone gatherer. Um, huh. What should I focus on? Hunter's Lodge. Hunting critters within two. Well, we can't quite get that far yet. Chicken pen. Sure. <laughs> Let's just work on the chicken pen. Why not? This game is about to go crazy. It keeps adding more and more stuff. It can get a little overwhelming. Alright, we need some berries. Right, alright. Alright, you keep working. You keep hunting that chicken. You, you get us some white meat, okay? Change production. I mean, we can't change anything, really. <laughs> oh, yeah, what is it we were researching again? I feel like I probably should have focused on that first. Um... I'm trying to remember what it is. There was, like, something that was, like, the thinking tree or something. Oh, there it is. The retreat, I think. I think that was what it was? Yeah. It was easy to come up with the ideas for new structures in the shade of that beautiful tree. It was so easy, so easy to fall asleep. Alright, so we can change one of those into the thinking tree and we should get, like, loads of stuff. And you can write your poetry under there, Murray. It's a win-win. I may need to expand my village in order to, uh, get some more berries. <laughs> Alright, we've got that event. That event's done. We've won that one. And that frees up some... Um...
Alright, how about we- you go get some water. And you can go get some hemp. Alright, let's see. We've- we've done this event. It's a 100% guaranteed win for us. It's alright. It's a good! <gasps> He's got an idea! <gasps> oh, let's go! Eight knowledge! Yay! Eureka! Good event! All that glitters get a lucky event. Yeah, boy! The retreat is complete. Pips can train to learn new professions. Buildings may be upgraded. Some buildings require trained professionals to work in them, as Pips must be skilled enough with the tools of the trade. Professionals can be identified by their fancy hats. A professional can work in more buildings, but they can still work in basic buildings. To train a professional, use the train action on a building from its actions menu. You will need a free Pip and sometimes a matching tool resource. You can unlock buildings that are stronger versions of e existing buildings. You can build upgraded versions of these buildings on top of the old one, saving a lot of building resources. Alright, so that means we can put a retreat on top of this. There you go, you upgrade that. Oh man, it takes a lot of wood to do as well. Goodness. I was gonna say, we probably need... Damn, we can't actually get to those berry trees because of the existing berry bushes in the way. Although that can help. We need to must, you know. Build that signpost for me, please. Secluded retreat. Plus three. Interesting. What should we focus our research on now, though? Um... Chicken pen. Let's finish the chicken pen. I mean, technically all that thinking we got has already given us enough to do it. Very nice. Very nice. Pips can herd animals! Chickies! Not only pips live in the village, you will also find animals of all kinds. Like pips, animals need food every day, so make sure you have plenty. Animals can be used as a resource for various buildings. Animals live in pens and ranches. Use the lore action on one of these buildings to lure an animal out of the forest. This will cost some resources. Alright, I guess I'm gonna need to, uh... Um, egg farm! <laughs> nice haiku. I like it. Butcher's table. Cook! Uh, hmm. Clearing. Sure, why not? No thinker available. Ah, I need to train someone as a thinker now. Now that we've got it, I need the profession. Hurting chicken pen. Um. Hmm. 
Three chickens, three chickens. It's three chickens no matter what, isn't it? But then there's the thinker's post. Mm. It's alright, we can get- we can make more. We can make more. Alright, good job we have these here. <laughs> We're running out of berries though. Mm. But in one more day we get tomatoes. We have two pips that haven't worked yet. Hmm. This game is definitely gonna take a lot of getting used to. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna need lots of tomato. Oh, I think I'll also need a barbecue, so we can actually cook this chicken so we can eat it. Clearing. Remove paving. Don't forget, a strong town requires good foundations. More advanced structures are too heavy to be built on grass and require some pavement below. Pavements also increase hit points of structures built on them and make your town prettier. Alright. We got a professional. All right, let's put more tomatoes. We don't have enough seeds. Uh-oh. Hmm. Right, so there was pavement we unlocked, right? Civilization? No? Ugh. Shared table. Let's learn that next. Right. I'm also gonna need another signpost, right? Oh yeah, that's right. We need we need the we need that, don't we? We need to we need the barbecue. We're gonna need that moot. We're gonna need that food badly. I need to do better. Okay, no more wood. Build that signpost so we can get to more berries. So good job we also have tomatoes now. It's sort of like helping us a little bit in regards to having extra res food resources. Well, like they say, it'll run out eventually and then we'll have to plant some more. Um, forager, um... Alright, the forager. Right, okay, so... I'll, uh... You know, we're gonna have to keep her... We're gonna have to keep her making stuff. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> That was weird. There we go. Now we can build a barbecue. Abandoned. <sighs> 
change production. Alright, we'll abandon that. We'll have to, uh... We'll have to do the hunters thing afterwards. Alright. I don't have a worker available to plant the seeds. Mm. I'll take you off that to... I'll take you off that to do that instead. Oh, we don't have enough seeds. You need to f you need to forage. Forage for seeds. We're gonna need more seeds. Any more, do you think? Any more, uh... I suppose we could get you picking some berries. There we go. There we go. Now we have it. Hey, Nyx, thanks for the hydrate. Thank you. And the head pats too, obviously. Alright. Right, we need our next research. Egg farm. Yeah, let's, let's get some eggs. I should also probably uh, build the cooking rack as well. Cannot build anywhere. Oh, right. I, I know why. I know why. Mm. Clearing. Alright. Oh wait, he was demolishing this, wasn't he? Alright, we'll do this for now. Oh, there we go. A place for the barbecue. I can feel it in my bones. The next season is coming upon us. Get ready for it. There we go, clearing! Heat domain! Uh-oh. Some events can damage buildings. A building can take an amount of damage equal to its hit points, which can be viewed in the Agepedia. When the hit point reaches zero, the building is destroyed. You can repair damaged buildings using the repair action. The heat domain feeds on the rising temperatures, and throughout the village during hot seasons, it is fast, fickle, and reckless. It can spread flames anywhere, so make sure you keep it at bay. Heat changes with the season and the weather. It will be replaced by the cold domain during autumn. Occasionally an event will change the season. Season affects the heat and cold domains. Which, oh, when autumn arrives, cold becomes dangerous and vice versa. Heat becomes your main concern when the spring arrives. Be careful as seasons can affect the production of buildings, especially those that produce food. To be fair, this is my first run, so I'm not really... Expecting to do too well. Cannot build anywhere, huh? Eh? Uh. Right, we need to make basic tools at some point. We're gonna need those. <laughs> At least someone is making tomatoes. Okay, you demolish that for now. Let's uh, let's keep those seeds coming, shall we? 
And if the heat domain's coming, we're probably gonna want to... <laughs> probably gonna have to get some stuff done. Uh, hmm. We're still generating food. Requires dwelling within one space. Okay. Alright, did that uh, other thing count? The hunters, uh... Alright. I guess it did count. Oh, wait, we got rid of it. Okay. Okay. We'll put a dwelling there. And we'll build a new hunter's, uh... Thing there, too, I think. Alright, we need a pip to now. Uh, we're fine. We'll, we'll do it next turn. We'll do it next turn! Right, as we're getting close to the, uh, the summer, I think we're gonna have to build a well. Like, a good well. We have a basic well, but it's not really gonna keep us cool. Excuse me. Alright, you get some more wood. We're gonna need more wood. Oh man, it's 8 o'clock already. I was really getting into this. Alright, you tend to the chickens now. I agree, it is very good, but it is also pretty brutal as well. It's a game that's deceptive. Alright, uh... Where's the well again? There it is, the crude well. Build it there, we get double the resources, which is always a good thing. So, yeah. <laughs> A game that's deceptively cute, but, you know... Just you wait, things are gonna get bad soon. No more resources can be harvested. Right, we need more wood, though. I don't... Oh, wait, no, we can plant some more. You plant some more toma tomatoes, we need them. We need, and I need to figure out how to make this barbecue. There it is. Alright. I need someone to build it now. I have six pips, apparently. I thought I had more. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. I don't really think it matters well either way.
Oh, you can change the art. You can change everything. You can change a lot of things. Interesting. But that's going to be it for the stream tonight, guys. Tomorrow is... Uh... Uma Musume And Cult of the Lamb. So I'll have to reactivate the, uh, the Cult of the Lamb thing. So I hope you guys look forward to uh, to that. If you're able to make it, you can uh, you can join my cult if you want. You know, I wanted to check out this new DLC, so you know, I imagine it's going to be a fun time. And Uma Musume, I'm gonna I've unlocked the new Banner Girl in that, so I want to do a run with her as well. So let me thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys tomorrow, if you're available, of course. And I'll see you guys then. Take care and have a good night. Bye!